So here we have the limit as xy approaches 0, 0 of x to the 6 plus x squared y to the 4th divided by x squared plus y squared. Clearly, it's a 0 over 0 type of limit. And if you try a bunch of different paths, you're going to keep getting 0. Right? If I try y equal to 0, I get the limit as x goes to 0 of x to the 6 plus 0 over x squared. That becomes the limit as x goes to 0 of x to the 4th, which is just 0. We could try some other stuff, like you could try, I don't know, um, I'm seeing like x equal to y, but that's going to give you the same thing. So I don't want to spend our time doing that because I know all problems are going to give me 0 because the limit exists. So for the squeeze theorem type thing, you're usually looking for something with an x squared plus y squared. That's usually going to make things, it's going to be something we want. So I know that x squared plus y squared is always, oh, holy smokes, my pen just burst on me. So let me grab a different pen. That's terrible. And you got things all over my hand, but I'll clean this up. I'll go wash your hand. So, yeah, that's nice. Ooh, yeah. So, I know that x squared plus y squared is always greater than or equal to zero. And so, what I'm trying to do in some sense is get something on top that's less than that. So, here's what I see I can factor out on top an x squared. So, I can actually write the top as x squared times x to the fourth plus y to the fourth over x squared plus y squared. And here's what I know. I know that x squared is also positive and it's less than or equal to x squared plus y squared. And then I can divide everything by x squared plus y squared so that zero is less than or equal to x squared over x squared plus y squared, which is less than or equal to one. Right? If I divide x squared plus y squared by x squared plus y squared, I get one. So this quantity I'm essentially squeezing, except I don't want just that. I really want this thing over here. So I'm going to take this now and multiply it by x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. So I'm going to have zero is less than or equal to, right? So I'm multiplying zero by x to the fourth plus y to the fourth is less than x squared over x squared plus y squared times x to the fourth plus y to the fourth is less than or equal to one times x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. And now I can take the limit of the left side and the right side. So again, we need the thing we want to find the limit of to be squeezed between two things. The limit as x, y goes to 0, 0 of 0 is obviously 0. The limit as x, y, whoops, I just pushed a button. Hopefully it didn't affect anything. Goes to 0, 0 of x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. So I can just plug in zeros and get 0. And since this is 0 and this is 0, it means that the middle thing Limit as xy goes to 0, 0 of x squared times x to the fourth plus y to the fourth over x squared plus y squared must equal 0 by the squeeze term. So I hope that kind of helps clarify what you're looking for. You're usually looking for something to be less than 1. So you can say that then the inside part, so I got this less than 1, but I can multiply that by that. Say that this inside part ends up being less than something that you can actually take the limit of and bigger than usually zero, okay?